Good morning. My name is Jaroslav Mach. I am an agricultural engineer for the company EGT and I work on the development of energy products. I have prepared a few words for you about our work with these products in vines. Since for many years we lead experiments in Lanzarote, the opening slide is from the volcanic ash pits in La Geria wine region and at the end there will also be several interviews with winemakers from Lanzarote. In our company, we always try to combine the whole commercial process with consulting. We consider this as a very important complementary service, either in the field or through the web, through emails and videos. We communicate directly with our clients and offer a tailor-made methodology. Actually, we have relatively extensive experiments abroad in process and sometimes uh, also sales. Uh, right now, for example, in France with the company Moet, in Germany in the Mosel wine region and also in Bad Kreuznach. We work on experiments in Georgia and, of course, on the already mentioned Canary Island of Lanzarote in Slovakia, Serbia and Croatia. There are more regions, but these are the main ones where we um, experiment specifically on vines. The range of our products for conventional agriculture relates to the growth phases of the vines. It should be noted that in some regions the start of vegetation is associated with sufficient moisture in combination with warmth. In the warmer regions, however, high temperatures can be limiting and often there is not enough water. In other places, there is a lot of moisture, but the limiting factor are low temperatures and only after equalization can begin active growth. When plants start their active growth at the beginning of the vegetation, the first thing to start regenerating are the roots. Root tips start producing cytokinins which travel to the aerial part, activating cell division and they awaken the buds to active growth. Buds, as they begin to grow into stems, start producing auxins which travel back to the roots. They restore and strengthen the formation of roots. Uh, the direction where most auxins are formed, which is in the actively growing stems, is also where will be later directed the biggest flow of nutrients. It is logical that the richer are the roots, the more they are able to absorb nutrients, moisture and therefore support a higher yield level. In these in initial stages of development, we use Energen Full Home Plus because it has a very good effect on root formation, it supports work with nitrogen, it slightly affects also water re retention in the plant and has excellent results even when soaking vine seedlings in 1% Full Home solution for 24 hours before planting or then when applied after planting. It is ideal for increasing the percentage of successful rooting in recently planted vines. That works really great. 
Humic substances will always perform well, especially when correctly put together. During the main period of wine growth, it is very important to supply a good quality of root nutrition through the leaf. This is crucial, not just stimulation and supplementary nutrition. During this period, strong growing stems produce large amounts of auxins that flow down and massively support root growth. But they also cause that most nutrients travel to the place of greatest growth. Of course, the leaf apparatus and the size of the above ground part are related to the underground part. They are communicating vessels. It is also related to the plant's ability to maintain its yield level. This picture on the presentation is from South Moravia. I was driving with a local winemaker and he said, uh, let's stop and let's look here. It was in September and uh, it was the end of vegetation. He said, there are two situations in these vineyards. It was the same variety. There is an imbalance of the soil, but far more visible, um, while the vineyard belonged to several owners, is in which part was applied quality of root nutrition and stimulation. There the vegetation is slightly prolonged, plants remain greener until the final yield formation. They give assimilates and energy to the grapes and then they go natural to sleep. A wine grower also needs to take care of this phase. To the main period of the stem growth, uh, we use Energen Clean Storm. It has a very strong effect in raising the threshold for resistance to fungal diseases. It also affects the plant's ability to withstand temperature fluctuations. Uh, these occasions put plants in, in an uncomfortable situation and if we help them cope with radical fluctuations in temperature from a physiological point of view, uh, those plants will really appreciate it. It also has a stimulating effect, supports the formation of seeds and fruits, uh, but also affects the production of sugar, aromatic substances and extracts. Another dominant effect is the ability to influence the health of the plant. The next period, the period of fruit growth, has several moments. It is important to realize that if a plant has weak roots and excessive amount of shoots, it weakens the plant and the size of the grapes will be reduced and therefore the yield of the must will also be, be reduced and of course also the quality. What happens in the post-flowering period? <clears throat> There's that moment when after pollination the seeds begin to produce auxins but to a much greater extent than they were produced in growing shoots. And this is uh, why they start pumping preferentially assimilates to the roots. Uh, it's to give priority to the generative organs so the grapes are supplied with nutrition. This is an important moment because we can help the grapes uh, by applying products that positively affect their growth, sugar content and extractive uh, substances. In this case, we use Energen Fructus, which we use from when the grapes are three to five millimeters, something like pea size.
It also works with roots, increases the size of grapes. It dramatically affects the growth of mass, increases the proportion of sugars and extractive substances. It also helps to retain water in the plant, similar to Cleanstorm. We also have products for organic production, which are used, for example, in the experiments in Lanzarote. Since I visited them recently, I will talk about them later specifically. From the first product, it is an organ algan. It is made from algae. We choose a specific type of algae uh, and we have a very good reason behind it. It is relatively uni universal, works with roots, retain water in the plant, increases sugars and extractive substances in the vine. It can also be used when planting vineyards for soaking roots. It has a high effect on water retention in the plant and it also affects energy rich substances. A very versatile product, it can be used from young plants till the main growing period where we influence the size of the yield and its quality. Cleanstorm E is a product that supplements algan in vines very well. E means that it is suitable for organic farming, so there are only substances that are allowed in ecology. It does not support work with nitrogen unlike the normal Cleanstorm, but has much higher effect on health. It induces substances that build resistance to fungal diseases, um, and this effect here is very high. It is officially registered uh, for organic farming, affects the size of fruit, uh, can be combined with algan and also affects sugars and extracts. Both are quite universal. As for the methodologies for using energen products, they are always at the farmer's disposal. When we start somewhere, we always adapt uh, the methodologies for that specific territory and they can be requested at our representation in each individual country. These methodologies had an interesting development. When we started working with vines, we thought, uh, let's have consideration with the farmer's pockets and um, we, will, we will recommend only three applications. Uh, this would mean at the beginning of the vegetation there would go full home, then clean storm to promote growth and health, and finally fructus to improve sugar content and extracts. Soon after that, thanks to the feedback from the wine growers themselves, we had to change it. They told us, no, we, we will apply full home twice, then we alternate clean, clean storm with fructus and at the end we use six applications and, and they modified it even further saying uh, this variety gets more sick so we use more clean storm this one has problems with sugar uh, so we add more fructus and this variety like uh, chardonnay to give a specific example has a great natural growth so we don't have to use full home at all because there are already good roots anyway so the methodology started being modified depending on each variety and those moravian and slovak winemakers started giving giving us their feedback and then we started in germany Today, there are specific winemakers uh, there who use 10 to 12 applications and don't even considering reducing it. They say the price is good. For us, it is important uh, the condition of the vegetation, yield, quality, health. That's all amazing. So the economics work for us. This amount of applications seemed excessive to me, but it is important that the clients are happy with them. 
it doesn't contain anything harmful. Sometimes it happens that when you apply too much, uh, for example, in wheat, you can steal the vegetation somewhere you don't want. But the vines always reacted positively to higher concentration and higher doses, and clients often request themselves. In the beginning, I tried to be humble. I was afraid to recommend intensive applications so it doesn't become too costly. But it seems that the plants make it worthwhile with large reserves and our clients themselves modify the methodologies according to what they need. One example of the applications in practice is the physiological rejuvenation of old vineyards. This is definitely interesting. Old vineyards are not in active growth mainly because they have reduced roots. Uh, when you start using the whole system there, dominantly with Energen Fulhum, uh, this will restore root growth. When you do that, you will gradually begin the first, the second, the third year, everything that happens in the spring. The plant will have larger roots, therefore a larger aerial part, and when that happens, it will naturally start to build up even larger roots. This must be supplemented by more nutrition to prevent the formation of poor quality wood. That is very important. Another example of practical use is the regeneration after mechanical and chemical damage. When the plant is damaged, it will benefit from any stimulation, uh, especially in combination with nutrition and, for example, with a dose of energy-rich substances, but we will talk about this later. It is also important to place more emphasis on root formation in weakly growing varieties to build green mass in combination with extra root nutrition uh, because the wheat growing varieties such as for example Pinot Gris which is a variety with uh, a weaker growth and will benefit very much if we help it to enlarge the roots. On the contrary for example Chardonnay does not need it uh, rather, it needs your help with the sugars and aromatic substances. Influencing the radio of acidity content is especially interesting for some red wine varieties, uh, such as Blue Portugal or in Spain, for example, Lista Negro. These are varieties that do not have very good proportion of acidity therefore when you lift acidity content uh, they gain a spark and in combination with aromatic substances phenols and sugars uh, they become very pleasant wines finally there is also the support to the creation of sugars and extractive substances there are always some varieties for example well clean zeleny a regional Czech Austrian variety, which is a variety great in creating yield, but it is not so fantastic with creating sugars and aromatic substances. They are the varieties that will benefit with the application of fructus repeatedly during summer when they form the yield. Often winemakers ask, when is the last time uh, when we have to apply? These products are not harmful, so you can apply them late, but it should make economical sense. It is best to treat with the last application three to four weeks before harvest, so the plant is able to still benefit from it regarding acids, extractives and sugars. Then I, that, this I consider important. When we look at the creation of sugars and extractives, it goes hand in hand with the creation of acids. This is because they are formed together. At some point the sugars shoot up and the acids are metabolized even into sugars. 
the priorities are different for each region. For example, when I come to Germany to see the winemakers, for example, in the Moselle region, there are a lot of vineyards and I arrived there. Um, we were tasting grapes in September and I said, Uh, this red here you can harvest within 10 days, right? It has high acids, good sugars. I judge based on experience from the regions I know, mainly from Moravia and the eastern part of Europe. But they said, no, no, uh, it doesn't matter. We will uh, add the acids later. Then you realize that in other places they do it differently. For them, the most important are phenolic substances, aromatic substances, sugars, and that acids will be dealt with later. On the contrary, Moravia, Austria, Slovakia, and further east, they care to get their sugars and acids up. At some point, when the sugars are already high and acids are still high as well, um, they are harvested so that they can get balanced naturally. We need to observe the priorities. I have found that some winemakers were not impressed at all in Western Europe when I told them uh, that we would increase their sugars and the aromatic substances. They said, we'll do that later. I do understand this now, even though it was surprising for me at first. Uh, they are more interested in, for example, improving the general health of the plants. Of course, I have some pictures here. Uh, the first is with František Dostoupil from Velké Pavlo Pavlovice, with whom we did uh, extensive experiments in the variety Neuburg. This variety had very big health problems and we managed to get it in shape so that today in Moravia they are planting it again. Although we did not eliminate the causes of the disease, we were able to get the plants to a shape where they can ignore the health problems they have. This particular photo is from the planting of Chardonnay and Pinot Gris, um, where we soak the roots. In the next one, you can see Mr. Vasicek from Vinium Velke Pavlovice, where he also soaks the roots before planting. A winery Stankovi in Blatnice. Here you see Silvan. This is a variety that Mrs. Stankova wanted to eradicate because it was not doing well. But after starting cooperation with us, you can see the condition of the variety uh, yourselves. It looks really great. Greeting to everyone, of course. Uh, next, you see Pepenesh in Hustopeche, where we regenerated old varieties, 30 to 50 years old. We got the old vineyards back in shape. This year we visited again our partners in Lanzarote. First of all, I would like to show you a video from the ancient winery El Grifo. Hello, we are the winery El Grifo and I'm standing here with the enologist Jorge Rodrigo Alonso to say a few words about the winery and also about our products. I would like to start by saying that we are doing experiments here with Jorge for the first time. We are currently taking samples to measure the memory substances of drought and the level of energy in the plants. Uh, this will be measured in Prague. Uh, 
Abraham, de Sequía, sí. de Sequía um, eh, eh, los cuales van a ser analizados en Praga. Uh. Of course, we also measure the actual sugar content, but this is not as important right now as it will be during harvest. I would like to ask my colleague here for a few words about El Grifo because it is a famous winery that deserves the comment. First of all, I would want to thank uh, Engineer Mach. We are pleased to have him here and to work with the products. El Grifo Winery dates back to 1775. It is the oldest one on the island and one of the oldest in Spain. The oldest winery, but with the latest technology. Yes, it is one of the oldest, but we are investing in modern equipment. Today you can see cutting-edge technology here and we will continue to invest in it so that we can make good wines. Yesterday, Camel Kraus and I drank a bottle of Ariana from El Grifo. And uh, we could taste there the handwriting of a young person. It is true that I often hear that one of the oldest wineries employs one of the youngest enologists. You also did a diploma thesis on physiology and measurements of photosynthesis, something like what Camille is doing here right uh, now um, today, right? My final work was about photosynthesis on red wine, the Lista Negro, and the effect of hydric stress. Great, so now he's truly returning with us to what he was doing before when he was at school. Yes, it is very important to put all this research and information into practice. It is also important to cooperate with many scientists and professionals because this lays the foundation for us to know more and work better. Mm -hmm. 
a tyhle ty malé informace nebo velké informace, které se dostávají do práce v Napoli. A strašně důležitá spolupráce s vědci a s profesionály z jiných, z jiných míst, protože tím pádem se, za, se dávají kameny, základní kameny k tomu, aby se vědělo víc a dělalo líp. That's right. For example, before I started working with Kamil Kraus, I saw things, but now I get information from inside the plants and we know 10 times more and 10 times faster than before. Los análisis que pueden hacer, uh, no solo que pueden verlo, pero también pueden ver lo que está pasando dentro de la hoja y tienen 10 veces más información. Thank you so much for your time. We apologize to the audience for the occasional interruption. We are in technology. We look forward to meeting you here next time. Many thanks to everyone and I look forward to the next time. Another winery is the Bodega La Geria where we have historically done experiments. Uh, when we were on Lanzarote, we also visited their enologist Alejandro Besai. Hello, we are at the winery La Geria. Thanks, Carmen Portelanes, for filming us. We are here with Alejandro Besai. Buenos días, estamos aquí en la bodega La Geria. Um, agradecimiento a Carmen Portela por, la, por el vídeo y estamos aquí con Alejandro Muñez. Muñez. <laughs> we have been coming here for years and working together. There are experiments in process here, which Camille Kraus is currently evaluating. Nosotros venimos aquí a muchos años. Estamos haciendo, llevando los experimentos aquí a un tiempo. Ahora en este momento Camille Kraus está en las I have a question for Alejandro because we have been cooperating for several years and there were a series of experiments. What you found most interesting about the effects of the products and what is your opinion about them from a commercial point of view? I have a question for Alejandro because we have been working for many years and he has an experience with the products. Um, Alejandro, ¿cuál uh, fue tu impresión o la, sor como la, la cosa sorprendente en los productos Energen y cuáles serían um, tus comentarios sobre su efecto comercial? Well, uh, what we see on treated plants is that they are stronger, they are more vital, they have more energy and they are overly in, in better shape. Dobře, je co co vidíme na těch ošetřených rostlinách, že jsou víc vitální, že mají víc energie a že jsou že jsou prostě silnější, celkově silnější. Jsou posílení. Is it commercially interesting for you? And that interests me your point of view as a consumer. Y puedes ver como del punto de vista de un consumidor uh, si esto para ustedes repercute de alguna manera es interesante de alguna manera. For me it is very interesting because there is a very harsh climate here in Lanzarote. There's a lot of wind that dries and destroys the plants. Treated plants are stronger and can better cope with the heat waves that are common here. That is the most interesting thing for us. Tady na Lanzarote je hodně tvrdý podnebí, 
A co se stane, že je tady hodně větru, který, který vysouší. vysouší a který taky jako ničí, nebo ničí ty rostliny. A co se děje, že ty produkty, ty ošetřené rostliny, že mají víc rezistence, že jsou silnější a že dokážou líp čelit těm letem i třeba vlnům horka a tak, které se tady dějí. Takže pro ně to je zajímavé. We will now measure drought primary substances in plants that were treated for hydric stress and in the control group in the experiments, uh, and also how many energy-rich substances remain in the plants. We will measure the energy-rich substances that should work best in relation to yield. Y también las las sustancias de relacionadas a la energía de la planta que luego tienen que ser tienen que afectar la productividad de de la el rendimiento. De, de la, de la thank you, Alejandro, for your time and thank you for meeting us again. Um, uh, Alejandro, um, el ingeniero Marte, le quisiera agradecer por tu tiempo y está muy contento de haberte visto. De Alejandro bien. also thanks, he's very happy with the Energan products and he's glad that you came to make his day more pleasant. Thank you, I'll probably be back in fall. <laughs> A Alejandro ti taky moc děkuje, děkuje ti, říká, že je velice spokojený s produkty Energen a uh, taky ti děkuje, že si přišel se na něj zase podívat a trochu mu uh, zpříjemný den. Děkuji a uvidíme se, protože asi přijdu zase na podzim. A muchas gracias y nos vemos en uh, otoño. Our last visit to the bodegas was at Ricardo Socas Winery La Grieta. Here I would like to send a greetings to all the winemakers in Lanzarote. This time we visited Ricardo's production and talked about the many years of experience and cooperation that we have together. Hello, we are in the winery La Grieta with the owner Ricardo Socas. Carmen Portela is translating our conversation. To start with, I would like to ask Ricardo, who has been using Energan products for several years, what surprised him uh, the most and what is the most economically interesting aspect of the products? Okay. Buenos días, estamos aquí en la bodega La Grieta con el propietario Ricardo Socas. Um, Ricardo ya trabaja con los productos Energan uh, varios años y lo que, lo que el ingeniero Mach uh, le quisiera preguntar a Ricardo es cuáles son su, sus experiencias con los productos, qué es lo que le llamó la atención y qué es para él comercialmente más uh, interesante en estos productos. Well, honestly, I think the products work very well. They are easy to apply and uh, low doses that cover a large area. The costs are therefore minimal and um, despite small doses, uh, the effect on plants is visible and gives it a stable, even production every year. Uh, he's very satisfied.
rok za rokem za rokem. Takže oni je velice spokojní s těmito, s těmito produkty a, a úplně znovu. I also wanted to ask about the effect on the health of the plants and quality. Did you see some differences uh, in using the products? Were there differences after using them the first year and did you see more effects in the following years or does it work the same from the beginning? The first year I did not see much difference. It did not become apparent until the second year. Now I observed it much more. On red varieties, um, there is improvement in, in the health condition. But it is also evident in the resulting wines. They are softer, more elegant, um, the same on white wines. On říká, že na jeho červených vínech je vidět dokonce i na těch nejenom úkolní stavů zdravotního ano. rostliny, jo, kde je vidět zlepšení stavu, zdravotního stavu rostliny, ale i vlastně na těch výsledných vínech. Jo, že červený nemají v sobě tolik travence, říká, jako, tra, jako trávy, jako, že, že jsou elegantnější, že jsou jemnější, nejsou tak tvrdý, jo, třeba ten stav. They taste better, they become more elegant wines, and the plants are thicker, leaves are darker, and the distances between the buds are the same. Uh, there is not lengthening, everything is more balanced. Thanks a lot. Thank you also for letting us taste your excellent wines. I feel like Ricardo's graduated from the same school as Harry Potter. Por la degustación de estos excelentes vinos que de verdad que son maravillosos y que, que se ve que tal vez has ido al mismo colegio que Harry Potter. I would also like to thank Camel Kraus from the Czech Agricultural University for taking up the position of cameraman for a while. Of course, in the field, he's a person who understands the plants much better than me. As you can see, we also do a lot of work abroad. Unfortunately, there are not, not other current videos at the moment. But uh, we will gradually have videos from our clients in other countries as well. We are loading this information on our Energen YouTube channel. There is a section for winemakers. We have many videos from Czech wineries with English subtitles. It is always important for us to reach people who really have knowledge and to compare the use of our products in combination with the technologies used by each winemaker. Here I say goodbye to you in style with a 300-year-old vine plant from Lanzarote. Have a nice day.